Hey there, and welcome to my channel, Stitches by Liz. In this video, I will be teaching you how to make a granny square. To get started, you will need some yarn and a hook. Many patterns require certain size hooks and certain types of yarn. For this tutorial, there's no specifics. You just need some yarn and a hook of your choice. I am using Karen 1 pound cotton yarn and a size 4 millimeter hook. Let's get started. You will need to know how to make a slip knot, a chain, a double crochet, a slip stitch, how to finish off, and how to weave in the ends. If you are unsure of how to do those basic stitches, please refer to my other videos. To start making your granny square, you are going to make a slip knot. You are going to chain six. One, two, three, five, six. Now you are going to slip stitch into that first chain that you made. Now you are going to chain three. One, two, three. You're going to yarn over and do a double crochet through the magic circle. Followed by another double crochet into the magic circle. And then chain one. Do three more double crochets through that magic circle. One, two, three. You are then again going to chain one, do three more double crochets. And then chain one and do one last set of three double crochets through that magic circle. One, two, three. You're going to do one more chain one and you're going to slip stitch in that very first double crochet that you made. Once you get done, your work should look something like this. You will have four sets of three double crochets. So you got one, two, three, four. And you should have four corners, which is kind of hard to see. But we got one, two, three, four. To continue making your granny square, you are going to chain three. One, two, three, and then turn your work. Now you'll be working in that first corner. You're going to do two more double crochets through that first corner. One, two, and then you will chain one. You're going to work another set of three double crochets in that same corner that you just worked those last three double crochets. So one, two, three. It should look something like this. That is now the first corner of your second round of the granny square. To keep going, you are going to yarn over and start working in that next corner. You're going to skip the three double crochets and you're going to be working in this corner right here. So yarn over, go through that corner, work a set of three double crochets. You will then again chain one and work another set of three double crochets in that corner. Now 
Now it should look something like this. You're going to skip three double crochet and work in that next corner right here. Do three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. Three, chain one, one, two, three. And now it should look something like this. This is the last corner of that last row. You are going to do the same thing. Three double crochet. Chain one. Three double crochet. And now it should look something like this. To close off this round, this square, you are going to slip stitch in that last row where you made your first double crochet. So right in here. Go ahead and slip stitch. And you have made a little mini granny square. So continuing on to the next round, you are going to chain three. One two three and then turn your work now you have this space right here right in there you see one two three double crochets there's your next corner here's another space another corner space corner space corner so you chain three Turn your work and you're going to be now working into this space right here so there's your first you need to do two more double crochets in that space so here's one double crochet two moving on to that first corner and to yarn over and do three double crochet chain one three double crochet in that corner oops so now that you have just created that corner of your next round you will be working into that next space, that middle space right there. So you're just going to do three double crochet. We will be working into that following corner. You're going to do three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. Once you finish that, I will meet you back. So once you have done three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet in that last corner, you will be working into that following middle space right there once again. So do three double crochet. Moving on to that next corner, you're gonna do three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. After you do that, you're going to work into the following space again, doing three double crochet. And in that last corner, you're going to do three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. I will meet you there. So once you've reached the end, your work should look a little something like this. To close off that last round, you are going to slip stitch into that last double crochet, the first one that you created of that round. It should look something like this. Now you have two middle spaces, a corner, two middle spaces, a corner, two middle spaces, a corner, two middle spaces, and a corner. So what you're going to do is chain three. One, two, three. Turn your work. 
and work into that first space that you have right there. You're going to do two double crochet to equal all three. You're going to work three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet in that corner, moving around the square, three double crochet, three double crochet, three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, three double crochet, three double crochet, three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, three double crochet, three double crochet, three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, three double crochet, slip stitching into here, and that will be that following round. And the more you keep working that same pattern, that rhythm, your square will keep getting bigger and bigger. Thank you for watching my video on how to make a granny square. Please remember to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any other crochet tutorials.